Well, greetings, people. We have here with us, bless I. They want to know, no, 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 Yes, man. They are for the sea. They are for the sea. Representing, you know. Respect. Bar for Bar TV Roundtable Talk, there, episode there. one. Mm. Yeah. Well, they don't know. Bless her. We have a lot to discuss, a lot to talk about. Um, we can start from the very beginning. Um, first question I think I want to ask is where in Antigua you grew up? Yeah, we born in Antigua, first of all. Yeah, man. We're Antigua okay. born. Born in Antigua. Which part you, you grew know, up? As you know, you know I, I, I born in. Otters. I grew up in Otters, you know, Respect. Otters, you know, and um, you know my parents, you know, because my mom and my dad were together, you know, they had your Samuels and your Donners, so they got together and started to reside in Casada Gardens slash Clear Hall Village, Wireless. So Respect. I I really grew up in Wireless after I started maturing and so as a young boy coming up. Respect, you know? Respect. How much school you went to? Primary school was St. John's Catholic Primary. Respect. So, you know, I grew up in a good family household and also I grew up knowing the morals of being, you know, a religious youth, you know, loving Respect. the statues of the Almighty, you Respect. know, so, you know, those schooling kind of brought me up in a disciplined way to, you know, more new music, you know, you know, you know very, definitely. very high standard. Respect, you know? definitely. Yeah. Definitely. You have any brothers and sisters living there with you? Yes, I have a Japan. elder brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I have a younger brother. Respect. Yeah. Respect. And I have two sisters. Respect. So yeah. Not even that me didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> See. Are your sisters live here in Antigua? All of them live here in Antigua? Yeah, yeah. Reside um, in here? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, one of them looking to become a lawyer. Alright. And the other one is in college right now, so Big up to Tiffany and Tia. Respect. Hey, Respect. Yeah, man. Enough love. Yeah, up to Jaffos, same um, Yeah, yeah true. Jaffos. True, true. Big up yeah. Jaffos. Yeah, you man. don't know. A very good inspiration to my work. Respect. 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 Yeah. Bless. Yeah, Bless. Bless. Mm. All right. So, um, how did the music, when did the music first enter your life? And how did it enter? When did you realize your love for music? Well, you know, music was an inborn concept, you know, because mm -hmm. my great grandfather was a Calypsonian called Lord Sherry. You know, big up to mm -hmm. Lord Sherry in you know, the spirit. You know, you don't pass already and gone. You That's know, right. that was my mom's dad. So, right. you know, big up to him. His name is really Abraham um, Samuel. So, you know, That's Father right. Abraham has many sons. Yeah, and, you know, <laughs> yeah, love the Empress them plenty. So, <laughs> yes, him. You know, no, God no, bless no. his soul. But That's he right. had a lot of um, enthusiasts, uh, um, desire about music, and he had a name in Antigua before he left to reside in St. Croix in the USVI. Uh -huh. So, you know, uh, Sparrow, the, 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 the Oxynet, you know, mm. the, all the greats. Respect, Calypso, respect. They were short, and you they were with them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. So I got all my inspiration from him, and then you don't know genetically, you know, I have music in my blood. Yeah, yeah man. So. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, man, I bless him, man. Hey, yeah. what them feel like? Yeah, all right. So, <laughs> now me personally, I know you as a sound man. Mm. Or at least when I met you, we were both very much into sound business. Yeah. Could you tell me where that came in? Yeah. And um. And did you play for a song? Or what was the name of that song? Yeah. Well, as you know, Simmons, let me tell you, you done the song business that will really make we really push in our music to that. Definitely. You know what I mean? And song business started from going to school, listening to various song crashes. You know what I mean? I say, yes, uh, right. listening to the bass of DC versus the black cats. Uh -huh. You know, you know the big up Squingy, rest in peace, Squingy. Yes, and they won't miss a one and five cat. star general. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, know that. And then you yeah, have yeah. you would have one stiff competition, verse verse against Kilimanjaro mm. and CM Panther. Yes, you know, so it true. used to be a real, real good, you know, entertainment for us as youths coming up in the music. You yes, know, right. being inspired by music, being motivated by the music and such. 
Um, these are the things that really got me into being an artist because it's a True. maturity, it's stages. Yeah, you know, definitely. you started off watching different selectors compete with selectors. Right. Started off watching the MCs rush it out with MCs. Right, started right. off watching all different dish jocks mm -hmm. having their verse battle. Right, and then right. it started to encourage me to be actual, the Part actual artist himself will come forward with message, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. because I realized that the messages have become void in the music mm -hmm. after the late 90s, yes, you definitely, know, definitely. Um, definitely. like a lot of the you know, explicit dance uh, music Take right, over and overshadow mm -hmm. the light and the beauty about what the music was really as dance art yeah, was definitely. to be in the early 90s. So, that in itself kind of said to myself spiritually, yo, me, I'm going to step up to the plate mm -hmm. and, 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 and be the music, um, you know? Yeah, true. You see me? Be the true. message, you know? Yeah, every man for playing them part. Yeah, you know what I mean? Definitely. Instead of backing what's going on on the mic as an MC, because you don't know me, a terrible MC for me. Yeah, definitely. Gonna definitely. You the know, and then where you used what? to clash, oh, for we think just different, because as a youth, we yeah. used to clash for uh, that cassette and. Banal. Telephone. Telephone. Line. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Button on the forward. Burn. Two minutes. A Button on the press. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, them, them are the yeah, foundation man. we have true. and the zeal and the passion we have for music. Yeah, a lot true, of people who come up in the music for today, they just watch and see others and want to impersonate yeah. the you know, action. Thing. So it's not really authentic yeah. about the love and the passion yes. for the music that they're doing it for. Yes, you know, yes, and that's where we are coming from. Yeah. Jumpstart, you know. A bless her again. They want to know. They want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about um, your relationship because being that you grew up in Clear Harrow on Wireless Road, I know you would have come up around enough other selectors, musicians, and songs in that area. Mm. Namely, man like Mike Turan. Yes. You have Jaffos, your older brother. You have um, Marlon for Double Deuce. Yeah. You know, it was some. Best in you peace, know, you have um, Mellow, Melodan, Big yeah. Up Platinum. You know, from that area. What was it like yeah. growing up with those songs in the area and being so close and Hi. so connected? Hi. Them times, <laughs> the greatest man. Hey, me tell you Respect. the greatest moment, man. Remember me tell you because them times they may go to school and after mm. me come from school, we go string up the song. Because them yeah. times they Marlon. Mm. After a double do. Rest in peace, Marlon, by the way. Yeah, big up to Marlon. Yeah, man. You know? After after school, we used to go by Marlon. And Marlon is the owner of the song, by the way. Double right. do song. And right. he used to search for selector, young selector who really know the business musically and had a passion and right. a way he used to gravitate to, you know, it was me and my brother Kamaja first, you know. Um God we used to name at the time, <laughs> Gargamel, uh, Kamaja first, big up yourself. Mm -hmm. But we used to because my uncle used to go to school with Marlon, right? Mm -hmm. Um our connection was very close, you know, so Miss Jacob, which is his mom would would always leave on the current even if Marlon is at the airport doing his work. Right. He would leave the current on for us. So when we come from school, mm -hmm. we go on another boot and we just start chop tune after tune after tune after. Yes, you know? Marissa. Then we get to learn the box and get to learn uh, the crates and learn how much songs and we get to know the yeah, business, you know? Yeah, true. And so we end up start to learn how to you know, string up sound systems and you know. So it was stages, being the box boy from that, learning how to hook up the amps and, yes, you know what yes, I say, right. learn how to order equipment right. and which one is better for whatever appliances Purpose, yeah, and so on yeah, that we're true, looking true. at. And so that are the thing where really make me have the passion for music. It's not just, you know mm -hmm. what I say, yeah, just come and watch and another man I want to impersonate I want to try for copycat right respect, you know it's respect. original yes, passion man. and love yes for the thing you know respect, respect yeah man so big up to all of these young entrepreneurs who yeah. come up in music and really wants to you know fulfill their dreams you know true just true encourage all of you to just continue to push back and there are many doing meet. very well for real and then. hopefully soon for now we can sit around and have a talk with them too oh, yes, you yes. know yes. yeah definitely you know, you know i'm show. blessed i am the fire starter so that's right edition oh you know what i say episode one you know episode one oh <laughs> 
Rowan Table Top Bar for my TV. Rowan Table Top Bar for my TV. You hear that? Rowan Table Top. Alright, just so so it's there. Yes, man. You see me? Yes, man. <laughs> fire. So tell me now, um, back in those early days, who are some of the artists that inspire you now? Who are some mm. of the artists that you look up to? I hear saying the end of the 90s, you know, we kind of lost the flame a little bit. Mm. So I'd want to believe a lot of these artists that you looked up to were the old artists. You can tell me some of them that you appreciate, even yeah. up to now. I mean, you mean from here? Just generally. Yeah, you can start from here. And yeah, let we start from here, man, because the artists, true, true. you know, they yeah. taught me a lot too. Mm -hmm. uh, man, like Naros with the Taros, you know, he's a Jamaican mm -hmm. fellow. You know, he used to reside here in Antigua. I don't even know what to become of him, but Naros with the Taros, we got to say. Well, we have artists do. like Chile Charlie, mm -hmm. you know, another Jamaican youth who used to live in Antigua. Um, you have, to, you have um, artists like. Um, we named the Dansky, you know. Dansky, true, yeah, true. Yeah. Big up Dansky you anyway, know, Big him up, yes. He! <laughs> I'm a brother. You know, whole heap of artists, man. Mac Chuck, big up yourself, you know. True, true. I'm just saying, you know. Federation. Yeah, and I'm just want to big up these ones first before true. me even go up in you know, the vintage, like a Eptones. Oh, gosh. You know, Levi Sibbles. Oh, gosh. You know, J Jacob Killer Miller. Yeah. Sammy Dreadlocks. Right. You know, see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. And then, you know, when I went to Jamaica, you know, yeah, I wouldn't even reach the Yes, no go there yet. No, 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 go there yet. But, <laughs> I, I, you know, the producers and me are very good. So we used to talk about who sounding like me and who they remind me of, um, me remind, remind them, them of, and all these yes, things. Yes, so, true, true. You know, they will always call some names and they are vintage singers. You know, That's I have this good. vintage song they always tell me about. So, mm. yeah, man. All right. Mm. So, what about in the dance hall aspect? Because you know we it. just clash, you know, we kill people, you know, and <laughs> yeah. you know. So when in them time, they know mm. who are artists. Mm. Them time, they we used to love. We used to a love lot a, a, um, you know. a prophet, yeah, ah, like a prophet and, 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 and um, Sizzler. And, uh. You know, Lucy, you know. Yes, yeah, true, true. You know, can't forget Lucy. Yeah, holy and Lucy does give me. You know, songs. used to love Morgan Harris's music too. You know? True. You know, as a group, yes, you know, true, true. And I think that's where Powerhouse really kind of came from the idea of you know this unit as a collective people, mm. musicians, you know, coming together and you know, having this one band, having this one common label mm -hmm. that we push out and we call it Reggae Powerhouse at the time, you know, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, we never reached this one yet either, so okay, so now, yeah. um. From what I know, yeah. I know you started with the reggae first, right? Yes. Uh, well, I started with Calypso because uh -huh. nobody never know bless I until me go out there in Antigua and go on that Calypso Monarch stage. All right. So that's what I'm about to get to now. The transition. Yes. To the Calypso slash Soka. Uh, what was that like? Mm. And why did you feel it necessary to take that step? Which you kind of just answered, but... Yeah. Explain it for us. Well, to tell the truth, yes, I started off with Naya Mingi singing chants and all of this thing by mm -hmm. myself in my own little round corner. Right, yeah? right. And you know, nobody never hear me until me go out there in the arena and do my Calypso song. Mm -hmm. Within the Calypso song. What was the first song you did? The first song I did was World I Go End. Mm -hmm. You see me? Yeah, because at them time it was like 2010. Mm. I think um it was no, yeah. I when they say it was the millennium. The two to uh, twenty twenty twenty. Two thousand one. Twenty twenty one. Millennium? Yeah. Two thousand. When they say the world I got in. So at the island. Oh twenty twelve, yes. Twenty twelve. Yes, twenty yes, twelve. Twenty twelve. <laughs> right? So me say me oh. have me go do a song about it because everybody will panic. We yeah. go up on the ball courts, we go up on the ball field, right. we go into the church, we go around south. Yeah. Everybody a panic. I watch the movie and please say, we're like a done. We're like an end. So me do the song mm. in the world at the end. So, Them say, Daddy, the world, I come to an end. But that was the end of the system, our new beginning. Them say, Daddy, the earth, I run out of water. 
Uh, I said we enter into a new era. We not got this yet, so yes. Yeah, <laughs> no auto tune, you know, live and direct, you know. So I'm gonna fix up my voice. You see? <laughs> yes, man. Yeah, man. So, so that was a nice transition. Did yes. you get the 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 the? Because I think you yeah, did. Yeah, very you gave, well. You got some first time in for Calypso, sure. and I and I passed mm. first first time. Yeah. And you know, it was very very good the reception from the people, you know going forward to the next level you know but i realized that you know they i had a different calling and i i decided i'm gonna go to jamaica so after i made that step i, I went to jamaica so i was gonna ask you how many times did you enter that competition before, before i went going? To, to jamaica once once it was one time yeah it was one time sweet pine and that yeah, was after you returned back that's what I Jamaica. thought. That's what I thought. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so we're now into you making that transition now over to over Jamaica, to the land of reggae. Now. How did that happen? Who, who, who? I want to believe you had a link over there. Yes. First, first of all, I was being managed by Kush David, right? Mm -hmm. Um, that's Kush, Kush David from Antigua. Yeah, from Antigua. Okay. Yeah, he used to manage me at the time, and um. The, the 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 team you know um we we had like one person particularly that was down there who used to go to school here in antigua at st joseph's time his name is neto meeks and he and his family are very big over there the meeks family in terms of like uh, public relations and dealing with uh, people in the cultural development and people in the education system down there in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So the Meeks family, and so he told me, okay, link up with them. Because when I went to Jamaica, I went there to go to Bobo Hill to learn the order of Bobo Rasta, Rastafari. Right. right. You know? Because right. even though I was here, I wanted to go to the, where it all started to officiate myself in the cultural part of it because right, I, right. I can know what I know but I still want to be in the, the, the space right, where right. The, the greats where resided, artists. you yes, know, yes, yes, to yes. feel the vibe and you know what I mean? So I did that and I went to Bobo Hill, I went to Jamaica and I took in the order as a prophet and I spent like nine months there until my manager sent for me to go and link up with the same Neto Mix. Uh, right, and that time I met. Which Jim. area of Jamaica this was? This in Bobo Hill? Yeah. That's like uh, Bull Bay. Bull Bay? Yeah. You know what parish that is? That's, uh, I think that's. For the people who trying to learn aspects of the country Saint just James. like myself, St. James? Uh, Alright, yeah, respect. Yeah, Bull Bay and St. James. It kind of sounds for it, kind of sounds for it. I could be wrong, but. Forgive me if I, I made that. Yeah, man, well, I know nothing. How much time have you been to Jamaica? A lot. I basically live there between here and Antigua. Yeah. Right now, even currently. Yeah, okay. yeah, I, I go and come, you know. Right. You know? So, um, what was your first studio in Jamaica like? What was that experience like? Um, in fact, before you get to the studio, what was, what was the country like when you landed there? The land of wood and water and reggae. How did you feel? Because me personally, I, I well, think... okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna take you to mm -hmm. my first video, mm -hmm. music video mm -hmm. that I did with Junior Reed because I was just getting there. One chance. If you go on YouTube right now, you type one chance. Bless I and Junior Reed. Provided in the description below, people. Right, mm -hmm. right. One chance. Bless I Junior Reed. You're gonna see my entrance in Jamaica. Oh, right. Oh, that same question will be answered right there oh, for you. Whoa. Live in the living, you get to see how was the expression. It, you know, you had the media houses, the people outside to greet me, coming yes. in as a royal official Respect. from from what that lady, you know. Respect. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Right. And, yeah. Big up jewelry, same way. Yes. And so you know, so you're gonna get to see it. Just check it out. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you get all your answers. All right. You know? And then, um, so that track was recorded prior to you arriving to Jamaica? Yeah. Oh, whoa. When I say prior, I mean before? Yes. No. It's when I arrived in Jamaica, we did everything. But it's just that you used the footage of your arrival in the video. Right. Understood. Understood. Yeah. So Understood. I incorporated every moment so that people could see the transitions. You like how you're asking, respect, respect. you know? And, and that's one of the greatest parts to look back on, because sometimes I'll just go and look back on that video and say, okay, wow, this is where I'm coming from to where I'm at now, you know? 
For real. <laughs> you don't know. Busy thing. Yeah, you have to keep connections going. Yes, you know. So, um, Jamaica. Yeah. You land, you link up with Junior Reed, things are going on. What's it like? Mm. The, the, when I say what's it like, I just want to put it like that. What was the, the journey for your career like at that point? Did it propel it um, in the fashion that you were looking for? Yes, of course, because the one chance after it was, um, nominated on the CVM hit list right. um, we got number three we reached the number three on the top chart you know the hit list top chart and that time my mother house now unfortunately burnt down in Antigua so I was not able to stay to make it to the number one spot like right. you know do the various things that were necessary yeah, like the, the, the promotion, promotion the road play mm -hmm. and all of that Good so stuff. I had to go and deal with that and you know that kind of Kind of pull down things a bit, you know, but I still had Netomix to, you know, manage certain other aspects of it where I would not have been able to make it. He fell in for me and, you know, he did what he could at the time. But I think that was a major setback mm -hmm. since that, that happened with my mom, at, unfortunately, at the time. You know? Right, right. But yes, you know, once you dust off yourself half a grung, you just get back up and you're done. Keep rolling again. again, you know. Oh, yes, yeah. definitely. That's yeah. really. So, how long you were in Jamaica for? A total? Um, for that time? For that time, yeah. That, time that I first was, trip. Yeah, that first trip was like. I think you were um, gone for a while. But yeah, about two years. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. Um, True. Yeah, about that. Now, during this time, was that you were still with Reggae Powerhouse Band? No, them time there, I wasn't. I didn't meet uh, Mr. Scarlet as yet, you know? Ah. Yeah, I didn't meet Mr. Scarlet as yet. So. Um, I was just rolling with Neto Meeks mm -hmm. and 